Welcome to our video on graphs. This is going to be a very quick hit video on graphs. Um, if you want to do more with graphs, obviously there are you can deeper dives you can do or other tools you can do to create better visualizations, but uh, Excel has some really nice quick and dirty graph capabilities. Uh, and so here we have inventory at a bakery, the product, the type, quantity, price, and total cost. And then we have some summaries over here that count the number of different types of fudge, different types of pie, and then calculates the total cost of, of each of those items. Um, to make this easier, we're gonna format this for dollars to make sure our graphs look the way that we want them to. So here we have our items and the total count. Now we can't just select all of these cells because there is a blank column here. So we're gonna select fudge pie, cake, and muffin. We're going to hold down the control button and highlight the items on the menu or the count. And so then we're going to click the insert ribbon. And my advice is generally just click the recommended charts and we can do several different recommended charts. Straightforward, we're going to do a uh, clustered column chart. So we're going to say, OK, it drops a chart onto our Excel sheet. We can come through and select different designs, whatever we think is best, whatever looks best, what our preference is here. Um, back to a standard chart here. I'm gonna drag this chart out of the way. And we can right mouse click on our chart and say format data labels. And we can you know, click the category name it just adds that if we want it. I don't think we need the category name for this type. And so in here, we can change the color of all of our different columns. We can do the formatting, the shading, uh, all types of different options that you want to have here. Super simple, whatever your preference is, go through and customize that the way you want. I think for this graph, quick and dirty, there's a, there's a pretty simple graph that does just a bar chart. Now, one other graph I want to do is a, is a pie chart. And so we're going to highlight our fudge pie, cake, and muffin. Again, hold down the control button and highlight the total cost of all the items in stock. We're going to click our insert button, go back to recommended charts. And this time I'm going to say a pie chart, tell this OK, and it gives me a pie chart. Now, move this down so we can look at this a little better. Now, this, unfortunately, at this point, doesn't have a lot of our data labels in there. And so, or much of a title, chart title doesn't do us much good. And so I'm going to change this to total cost of products in store, right? And so now what I want to do is do some of this formatting. So I'm going to again, right mouse click and click add data labels. And it gives us some data labels. So uh, we can come down here and we can say cake has $2,310. The problem with this, it's not bad when there's only four or five items, but as we start adding more and more items, all of a sudden um, they start adding different blues and oranges and it becomes difficult to read and, and comparing down here. So we can right mouse click and say format data labels again. Um, we can check our category name and let's even do percentage. And so then this is gonna start showing us that muffins are 3%, cake is 66% of the pie. We can grow this chart so that it's easier to see as we start adding more and more data labels there. And then you see that you have a pretty large pie graph that you can start looking at and reading and getting data from. Um, we can close this and you know, if your graph's big enough, you wanna zoom out and move it where you need to. But now we have a graph that we can quickly look at this and go, okay, cake is 66% and $2,300, whereas fudge is only 8% at $288. Super, super simple ways that we can do graphs. Again, you highlight the item that you want and the quantity or that you're trying to graph and come up and click insert, recommended charts and let Excel help you. And then you can browse through all the different chart titles that you have, chart types that you have. And again, you can see there are just so many different graphs and charts that you can make. Whichever one you need for your situation, flow through here and pick the one that works best for you. Thank you much.